we can discuss some of the topics in nuclear physics based on introductory nuclear physics authored by Kenneth S. Green. Order of the topic will be as per PG syllabus but some of the topics are shared by both UG and PG syllabi. Hence, both UG and PG students will be benefited. Today, we start with the uh, nuclear size coming under the section nuclear properties. In nuclear properties, we will be discussing nuclear size, binding energy and uh, angular momentum along with the parity. Properties of nucleus. Nucleus is confined to a very small area of uh, nearly 10 raised to minus 14 meters and hence unlike macroscopic objects the properties of it are very difficult to characterize. The system also is governed by laws of quantum mechanics. So this is a very important point that uh, even though the nucleons are confined to very small area of 10 to minus 14 meters, all the interactions between them and all the energy transactions are governed by laws of quantum mechanics. So that's very important. So we have to deal uh, the properties of a nucleus in terms of a quantum mechanics. To make things easy, we can choose limited number of parameters to describe nucleus and the mutual interactions of nucleons. So we can we, ha we have so many different parameters that can be used to analyze and understand a nucleus deeply. So we cannot choose all those uh, parameters but we choose limited number of parameters to describe the nucleus and uh, the mutual interactions of the nucleus. There are two types of properties using which we can analyze, describe and understand nucleus deeply. They are static properties and the dynamic properties. So this nuclear radius, binding energy, angular momentum, parity, dipole and quadrupole moment etc. coming under static properties of the nucleus whereas dynamic properties are uh, those that include decay and uh, interaction probabilities. Interactions between nucleons in terms of both static and uh, dynamic properties remain as main challenges in front of a nuclear physicist. So coming to interaction, nuclear interactions and decay, we are very, very much familiar with the radioactivity. Our, uh, all of us know radioactivity is a uh, basic property of the nucleus and the energy is coming from within the nucleus. So they, coming under, they come under uh, dynamic properties. Next uh, we will see the uh, nuclear size. We discuss the nuclear size. If the shape of an object is taken to be spherical, then the size of the object is uh, measured in terms of its radius. Here in the case of nucleus also act actually the size uh, shape of the nucleus is not a spherical uh, but anyway we in general we take it as a sphere. So size of the nucleus can be expressed in terms of its radius. The boundary of the nucleus is not precisely marked no doubt. The nuclear radius depends on its shape and is thus characterized of the two parameters mean radius and skin thickness. Mean radius is familiar to you I think but skin thickness may not be that familiar. Uh, mean radius is where nuclear density is half its uh, central value and skin thickness is that over which density draws from nearly maximum to nearly that is the density at the center, density of uh, uh, any nucleus at the center is uniform and it becomes maximum and coming to its boundary it uh, decreases. So skin thickness is that, that distance over which density drops from nearly maximum to nearly minimum. It will be, uh, we can discuss it with the help of a diagram after this section. 
Next, we will find out the expression for a radius of any nucleus uh, from scattering, electron scattering experiments on several nuclei. It is found that central nuclear charge density is nearly the same for all nuclei. That is the number of nucleons per unit volume is constant. For A to be number of nucleons, thus we can write A by 4 by 3 pi r cube is a constant. That is at the center. It, 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 it says that electron scatter experiments say that uh, this A by 4 by 3 pi r cube is, a, is found to be constant. Then we can rearrange this. That is R is a mean radius of the nucleus. Then from this A is proportional to 4 by 3 pi r cube. That is 4 by 3 pi constant. So A is proportional to r cube. Then from this R is proportional to 1 by 3. A raised to 1 by 3. Or R is equal to a proportionality constant R0 into A raised to 1 by 3. Where R0 is the proportionality constant has the dimension of length. For our experiments it is found that R0 is equal to 1.2 Fermi. 1 Fermi is 10 raised to minus 15 meters. So we can express radius of any nucleus as R is equal to R0 a raised to 1 by 3 where A is the number of nucleons in the nucleus. Next, here is the nuclear density rho versus radial distance graph of four different atomic nuclei. You can see four different graphs here. This is of that of oxygen. Then this is of carbon. These two are lighter nuclei and uh, uh, comparatively heavier one that is nickel uh, this is for nickel then for more heavy uh, nucleus that of lead 208 this graph represents lead among these lighter nuclei carbon 12 and oxygen 6 show very little change in central density these two from the graph, you will get a clear picture of the term skin thickness. For example, in lead, the distance between nearly maximum to nearly minimum. So, this is the distance between nearly maximum and nearly minimum. TPB gives a skin thickness of a, this particular nucleus of a PB. Please go through all other uh, graphs of a, all other nuclei to carefully to find out their respective skin thicknesses. So this is for now. In the next class we will discuss nuclear binding energy.